Hey there, it's Sunny D. Happy Tuesday evening. I hope that you've had a blessed day. You're having an even better evening. It was another beautiful day out there today. I'm loving this weather. I had a chance to get on my bike and ride tonight and just spend some time with the Lord. And I'm really loving this time that we have together. So anyway, I'm going to read something to you today from He Whispers Your Name. It's one of my favorite devotionals. And this one is called Complete Reliance. Don't worry when you fail or fall short. It will happen more often than you'd like. I use the overwhelming circumstances of your life to help you understand that you need to completely rely on me. I've given you special talents and abilities, but none of them can be adequately and fully utilized without my strength and power. You need me. I want you to realize that you can't accomplish my purposes in your own strength. I never meant for you to travel through life on your own. You were always meant to walk with me. My goal was to use your life to accomplish impossibilities, pointing others to me through the unbelievable works that I do through you. My desire is to have others stand in awe of your life, realizing that only I could perform the miracles they witness in your life. I want you, as well as others who look upon your life, to realize that they need a savior. I want your life to be a trophy of my grace. However, to fully receive my grace, you need to seek me at all times and joyfully receive what I'm giving you. You need to surrender your will to mine and allow me to accomplish what only I can. And that you must, that you must do is walk in faith and receive my grace, completely relying on me each and every moment of your life. And then has 2 Corinthians 3, 5. It is not that we think we are qualified to do anything on our own, our qualification comes from God. Tell me that isn't good. You know, I spent a lot of time with God today on my ride and just really talking to him and realizing that it is about complete reliance on him. You know, I have just gone through so much in probably a year's time frame, losing my dad and losing my job, losing my cat. COVID, I mean, it's been a rough year. You know, I used to battle terribly with fear and anxiety and I got a grip on it and was doing really well. And then last year when COVID came about, about a year to this date, it just snuck up on me and hit me hard. And I started really struggling with anxiety and it's been a work in progress. I'm seeing a therapist right now. I'm working through it. I'm reading some books about it. And, um, I'm just learning through all of these difficult times that I really need to lean into God more, that there shouldn't be anybody before him, not my boyfriend, not my son. God comes first. I need to seek him in all circumstances and just trust in him for whatever it is that I'm going through. And I love that devotional where it talks about, you know, him doing something through me to shine his light so that others can taste and see that the Lord is good and want some of what I have, what I, you know, illuminate. And, um, you know, I used to feel that I did that on air. And that was something that, you know, really made my heart happy. I would pray and ask God to use me to, uh, to help somebody with a song or a devotional. And, you know, I miss doing that. But that's why I make these videos. That's why I'm still doing this for the kingdom. Because I'm hoping that maybe I can give somebody a little bit of hope. And, um, you know, love to be as transparent as possible so that you realize that, you know, life is hard. <laughs> it really is. I promise you that. But when you have God by your side, you can get through anything. And that's the truth. So um, thank you for listening. I'll be back tomorrow. I'm wishing you a blessed night, a happy Wednesday. And please don't forget, love God and love others.